actually this is the same field that I was abused at many moons ago thanks for all those viewers and I'm sure lots of the subscribers now are coming from that video so maybe I should like mention that <sighs> welcome back to the channel everybody um, my name is Nick in case you are new um, that is the wind um, pleased to meet you both um, all right today we have the Park Zone Artisan in case you're unfamiliar with this plane it's um, it's been out of stock for a while uh, out of stock discontinued I should say it's um, it's gone uh, I think they discontinued this plane a couple of years ago I picked it up secondhand for about 90 bucks and it's great it's pretty good uh, I've got I go through these like fits and starts sometimes I love this plane other times I'm bored of it but uh, given enough time and space between flights with it I seem to regain a bond with the Park Zone Artisan so um, it's kind of windy and then calm I don't know what this weather is going to do but let's just cross our fingers behind me there are some clouds and the sun now the wind is coming at you now it's at my back so I'm going to take off in that direction um, I'm sort of at one end of this field here like there's actually this is the same field that I was abused at many moons ago thanks for all those viewers and I'm sure lots of the subscribers now are coming from that video so maybe I should like mention that um, so yeah this is where I copped all the abuse in fact I was flying I was flying just there and she came from yonder and went Doo -doo 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 -doo. <laughs> I've been yabbering for like a minute and 45. Let's go and fly this thing. Uh, my batteries are getting a little old in the tooth now, so I'm probably going to put f like five minutes on the timer and um, we'll go from there. Right, left, left, right, 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 up, down. So my game plan is to take off in this direction and fly to the right and just try to keep the sun behind me but there's a guy over there the dog and yeah who knows maybe he'll abuse me too today so I've got I got like um, flapperons and spoilerons programmed onto this thing but I just haven't turned the switches off it's they just don't work I haven't found a, a way for them to um, to come on and in a fashion where the plane is still controllable I don't have any mixes left so I can't even you know like you know put the flaps if it like pitches up or whatever I can't even mix any any down elevator because I have no mixes left on my fly sky all right let's do this been ages since I've flown any plane actually oh good lord <laughs> the wind is a bit crazy up there maybe I should flick into low rates oh god <laughs> it's pretty turbulent look at her she's like snaking around everywhere like a new pilot all over again all right what are we on probably at about a minute and a half of the clock oh my god I'm just worried someone's like gonna get in the way and something's gonna happen power just want to practice a bit of a landing here oh that wasn't too bad she's very turbulent up there though far out man that was only a minute and 40 seconds you just don't it's just not fun flying this thing when it's windy I don't know
Anyway, let's uh, let's reposition at the top of the cricket pitch. Now, even though this grass is mowed, it's still a bit thick. Now we've got people over there now too. Running up and down. Maybe this time round. Well, I don't see. I don't really want to fly into the sun. If I can avoid it. All right. Well, let's um. I'm just waiting for this bloke to move. Let's practice some um, takeoffs and landings, eh? whinge about that. Another quick assessment. Ah, it's alright. And come back down. Nice little land and go. So these packs, they're just 3S um, 1800s and I get, on a brand new one, you'll probably get like 10 minutes out of it, but this responds really well to rudder. You don't have to bank and yank this thing. Oh, look at that. That was pretty nice. Quick assessment, cool. It is tempting to just let your right thumb do everything, but um, it will really reward you if you if you give it rudder. Oh, is that a wing touch? Uh oh, just as the wind gently picks up. That's nice, let's go again. Gotta keep the wings level. Oh, that was so nice. But see that with this gusting wind, when I'm coming down, I'm getting like an artificial wind speed. Well, I guess it's just the wind speed, right? Like your air speed. My ground speed, it's irrelevant, right? Because the only thing keeping me up in the air is the wind over the, the air over the wings. And I get a bit of a gust of wind. And I'm thinking, oh yeah, she's just floating in beautifully. And as soon as that gust stops, as you saw with that last landing, it just like dropped like six or eight feet, you know? So I remember um, a few videos ago, I had people telling me, um, you know, like make sure you come in with power, blah, blah, blah. Um, and from my experience, I haven't really, uh, like had the need I haven't felt like coming in with power has not coming in with power has ever caused me any problems um, but then after I had that recommendation I started doing it and I felt a little bit more in control having said that like these a lot of these models I've been flying they're just they're so floaty that 
I feel like coming in with any power means you have to go further out or I'm landing like much further away from me so um, and then obviously the further away you get and at either end you know there's risks at that side too like orientation risks so it's kind of like weighing up the the benefit of you know do you come in with more power and have you know like more control you know or less likely to like just fall out of the air or you know cut the power completely glide in and land closer to you where you can see it i don't know i'm sure everyone's got their own experience but that's that's been my experience let's have a look 71 i mean look my watch says five and a half minutes but obviously i wasn't flying for five and a half minutes so but when you're up in the air stay up in the air this thing can go yeah anywhere between like if you push the crap out of it and just fly full throttle constantly you probably get like five four minutes out of it probably um but if you fly normally and just go easy bit of throttle management you can get like seven to ten minutes out of it all right just gonna check my surroundings i got this guy coming up but we should be all right I'm not waiting for him Yeehaw Climb my pretty climb Here she comes. Here she comes. Wiggle waggling around. This is no power. And you know, it looks good. Well above that bloke, he's still chugging along. Climbs in this wind. Woohoo! I can't remember if that was low rates or high rates. I think it's high rates. Throttle off. Come to me. Oh, got a uh, just an old 2200 in the park zone now, so I'm going to see how she handles. A little bit more weight than the 1800s. And these are like my original packs. I had these, I had four 2200s that I was using to fly the, um, the FMS Super Easy. And I was getting some insane flight time out of that configuration far out. I was getting like 15 minutes of flight. Like that's just flipping ludicrous. Was a bit weird.
<laughs> so cute. Oh, I touched down on the Astro, that was cool. AstroTurf. Uh, uh, uh. Oh. <laughs> that was a bit lumpy. Yikes. Well, that was crazy. Not flying with AS3X. <laughs> all that correction was me. Overcorrection and all. Alright, let's come with a little bit of power. I just want to get. Let's see get all in. Alright. That was a bit lumpy, bumpy, scary, hairy, scary. Buttery. And these guys are going to want to fluff around in the cricket pitch. 